congratulations to you for securing rank one in this highly competitive and tough exam. So my first question to you, were you expecting this? Were you expecting that your preparation is strong enough to make you number one in this exam? Yes, I was expecting that I would be in the top 10 and luckily I've got into top the first rank. So how does it uh, how does it feel to be rank one? You know, uh, for this exam, students start preparation very early on. Some students start prep uh, preparing for this exam in their seventh to eighth grade. So when did you really start your preparation, and what did your journey look like? Well, in seventh and eighth, I had foundation, and my journey started in ninth. And today, I actually feel extremely happy about my result. Thanks to my mentors, my family, and Sri Jitanya's organized structure. So you started your preparation um, uh, when you were around in your ninth class. So that's close to three years of preparation that you put in to be rank one today. So what did your average day look like in these last three years? How did you prepare for this exam? Tell us about your preparation strategies and what your day looked like when you were preparing for this. When I was in my ninth and tenth, uh, I focused much but not as much as I did during my 11th and 12th. In my ninth and tenth, I just basically covered what all topics I can cover for the JE and actually did it with interest. I like maths, so mm -hmm. whatever I can learn with, with regards to JE, I have done that in 9th and 10th. During my 11th and 12th, my day used to start at around 8 and I used to come back home like by 9.30 or something like that because yeah, the center used to be a bit far from my house. And whatever study I did was in this, most of this thing was in this school and after I come home, I barely study. Right. So let me ask you this, Chidvalas, because um, in that age, I mean, we've all been in school and there's so many distractions. You have so much to do. So what all did you give up to prepare for this very tough exam? Well, uh, I stopped using social media and stopped watching YouTube. Hmm. Did you have to and cut out time that you spend with your family, with your friends? Is that something that you missed and would like to go back to now? Yes. During my 11th and 12th, I missed uh, my family and I spent very little time with my friends and everyone. Hmm. Hello. Right. And um, another, well, cliche question is that uh, how much did you study in a day and how many hours did you study for? So let's not ask you that. But let's ask you that, did you take enough breaks for those who are preparing for this exam this year as well? What would your advice be on the preparation strategy? How many breaks should you take? How did uh, that preparation look like for you? Well, I would advise my juniors that divide your day into slots, such as suppose, let's say you start at 8 o'clock. Let's say from 8 to 10.30, you give that two and a half hour slot to maths and whatever solving material you have and whatever solving material you have, just do that in that time. What's more important is that during that slot, you have to just stay focused on whatever you do, be it less or be it more that you solve. Whatever you solve, just stay focused on that and keep away all distractions. And hmm. I would not suggest to read all day from 7 to 10. That will be very stressful. So you can take like half an hour to one hour break somewhere in the middle. Uh, I used to play table tennis and foosball in my breaks. That used to help me relieve my stress. So you did used to take breaks uh, during your preparation. That's very important to point out. So what did your breaks look like? I mean, uh, were they only for necessary activities you have to do in a day? Because, of course, studying is important. But you made time for extracurricular activities as well. Yeah, I mean, I made... Uh, I used to allow like one, half an hour to one hour, like just for playing games, mm. just to have fun so that I get it to really. Right. That's very important yeah. to point out, Chidvilas, because these exams, of course, can get extremely full and it's important to give your mind a break. So now that you've uh, uh, secured the first rank, I mean, uh, whenever exam results come out, we all remember getting calls from our relatives and they keep asking us, how much did you score? So what's the environment like at your house? What are the reactions from your family members, from your relatives? Everybody extremely proud? Yes, my father, my mother and my whole family is very happy. What are you getting as a present for securing rank one? <laughs> well, whatever 
I mean. <laughs> All right. So what are your aspirations from here on, Chidvilas? I mean, which stream of engineering do you want to take and why do you really want to become an engineer? What are your future goals from here on? I really like maths and I was interested in like AI and coding when I was young. So I would like to take CS from IIT Bombay. Hmm. Yeah, that's my present goal. And I also have some interest in research field hmm. as well. Yeah. So in computer science and you want to focus on AI and your dream college is IIT Bombay. Now we're sure that you'll get any IIT that you wish for, hopefully. Uh, but that was your dream college, IIT Bombay. Yes. All right. So uh, while we uh, talk about your future aspirations, just getting a last word from you, you must have seen that how uh, stressful these exams can get and you yourself have been through that journey. But some people, unfortunately, t uh, take that stress to a very high level. So what's your advice for those students who uh, are, get under a lot of pressure because of these exams? What's your advice to ease that pressure, but at the same time focus on studying and get good marks? Well, my advice is that if you are really interested in maths and science, then J is actually J will be actually extremely easy for you if you mm. thoroughly go through the previous year papers and check what type of questions J is asking and go through the NCRT of chemistry at least five to ten times, then you'll actually get very interested in J questions and whatever they're asking. It won't be stressful at all. I mean, there will be a bit stress, whatever you do, but. So it's the interest and determination that actually matters. Hmm. If you That's... really have the right interest and determination, then J will be actually easy for you. Right. That's very interesting that uh, because you were naturally inclined to maths, that's why it was slightly easier for you is what you're saying. So when we talk about your inclination, were you yourself always inclined towards uh, getting into a top IIT and becoming an engineer? Because in Indian families, it's a norm that lots of parents ask their kids to get to an IIT, prepare for JE and then become engineers. So was that uh, what happened with you as well? Did your family ask you to get into an IIT or was that your own dream since the beginning no my family didn't ask me anything my goal was this i really liked science when i was young and i want to get to the college with the best resources and the best faculty out there and the best college in india is iit so i really wanted to get into an iit and pursue further Right. And my last question before I let you go, uh, you're saying you want to be in CS and AI. So who are your role models in the industry, the likes of Sundar Pichai? No role models, I said, but during my JE preparation, my role model was Sarvesh Maitani. All right. Well, Chidvilas, thanks very much for joining us and um, sharing everything about your journey. We wish you all the best for your future as uh, you embark on a journey, as you plan to go to IIT Bombay and then become one of the celebrated engineers of the country. Thanks very much for joining us.